Good day, and welcome to Dungeon Miser. Today we're looking at the movie, The Girl with All the Gifts. Now, I'm not doing this video outside the movie theater because I actually saw this movie six months ago at the Toronto International Film Festival, but it's only now coming out at the theaters. So The Girl with All the Gifts is a zombie movie. So you might think automatically, I've had enough of zombie movies, I don't need to see any more zombie movies. But this zombie movie is a little different in that it's not entirely focused on people just escaping the monsters coming to eat them. Uh, this movie stars Gemma Arterton and also Glenn Close and introduces a brand new actor, a young girl named Senia Nanua. Now, The Girl with All the Gifts is set in a very near future. It is in Britain and actually takes place on a mi British military base. And they've got kids there who have actually contracted the virus but are still uh, able to think and talk and move as if nothing had happened until they smell human flesh. And then their zombie-like tendencies kick right in. So this movie really works around the relationship between this young girl who is a student in a class of these other children, these zombie children, and the relationship she builds with the teacher, Gemma Ayrton, and, well, anyway, calamity ensues from there. And it is exciting and it's interesting. I won't give anything away, uh, but uh, it can really draw you in. And also the ending takes a page from the novella uh, I Am Legend. Now, not to be confused with the I Am Legend movies, because they're farcical. Um, but The Girl with All the Gifts is a different take on a zombie movie, has great characterization, and it's actually written by Mike Carey. Mike Carey is predominantly a comic book writer and is best known for writing uh, Hellblazer and also Lucifer, which also has a very popular TV adaptation on right now. Um, and so it was interesting to see his take on this. Uh, would I pay to go see The Girl with All the Gifts again? I would pay to go see The Girl with All the Gifts again. It's a unique look at something that, uh, you know, has kind of been done to death. And the ending is different than you would expect. That's all I can say without giving it away. And hopefully that's enough information for you and you can go see The Girl with All the Gifts. Now, if you have any questions or concerns, or you don't agree with my review, or anything like that, you can leave comments down below. If you like my video, hit that like button. If you liked it a lot, hit the subscribe button. If you never want to see me again, hit the subscribe button, and we'll call it even. Okay, so until next time, see you on Dungeon Miser.